again. All right, you guys, we are back. This is the podcast, Sightcast. You all know and love called Really Bitch. Why didn't you say it? What? He never does. I don't think I have said it yes, once. It's, I didn't know you never said it's, it's it. It's tradition. We are here today. You don't, you don't watch the video back? Just shut up. I do. You oh, shut right. up. Anyway, it's been a few weeks. Um, um, we, you know, life has happened. Things have gone on. We hadn't had a chance to really um, meet up. But we are here to give you guys our two cents on some shit that has been going down. It's been a lot. It's been a lot going on these last few weeks. Whew. So, we're just going to touch on a few things. So I how actually watched the news. You know, so much stuff going on. Right, it's so like, much just, drama like, in. Wait a minute, DMV. I, I need somebody. Kind of hard being old. Lean to see. Hey, hey, get it, get it, like get it, get it. Look at that, his face. All right, <laughs> all right. That's what I signed up for. We've been singing all morning, though. Really, like right. we've really been doing our all best right, life all morning. That. No, we have life. been oh, okay. So, um, first of all, let me just let's, let's catch up. Like, it's been a few weeks. I know um, last month was National what? National Life Insurance Awareness Month. Life Insurance Awareness Month. I didn't know month. There was such a thing. I didn't either. But if they got okay. National Door to Day, National, they make up shit all the time. Well, this was not made up. But the this government, one, the government, the government, the government did this one, government put it out there. So tell us what is the importance of of having um, what is what is what what do we need to be aware of? Tell us. Well, life insurance is very important. It's it's not just for when you pass away and leave something behind. Because most people think, well, when I die, I'm going to pay people some money. Which is, you know, the basis of life insurance dating back to whatever B.C. when, it's, when it became a thing. B.C.? Okay. Yeah. Google it. <laughs> uh, Jesus had life insurance? Before coverage. Apparently not. <laughs> but... <laughs> But um, <laughs> he's going to hell. The, he's going to hell. But the thing is, but he didn't need it. He came back. Even, <laughs> it's a three day visit. Yeah. Yeah. Three day visit. Oh, he's going to hell. Oh, they're going to hell. He didn't die on well, vacation. Oh, wow. Jesus. Say, wow, the thought gone. What me? Right, it wasn't me. God, really? I don't. I think. I think the points of life is showing. Go now, back. I'm sorry. I'm just shut up. The points of life insurance, sir. Most people don't know they don't have enough life insurance. Mm-hmm. Because it's true. Because it's said you're the main breadwinner in a household. Right. And people get life insurance just for their yearly salary. Okay, that's covering your family for one year. Right. What right. happens to the other The potential of how long you would have lived. Right. Okay. So, like, it's recommended you get at least 10 years. Okay. Like, then that's for just for your death benefit. So, it's not unreasonable for someone who, even only if they make, I um, shouldn't say only because I don't want to offend anybody, makes like $40,000 a year. They realistically should get a policy that potentially would provide for their family for ten years. Right. So that forty times ten is what right. they should realistically be getting. Yes. Okay. At at bare minimum. And at the bare minimum. Okay. More to it and for the math I, challenge, that's at least four hundred thousand dollars. Oh my bad. I thought. Okay. You I just, just add zeros. I just said for the math for the oh, math challenge. Right? Oh. Okay. Y'all ain't seen that Justin Timberlake movie. No and, all right. And but also people don't understand that you can use life insurance while you're alive. Okay. Because I do think a lot of people don't know that. There are policies that generate cash value. Cash value, that mm-hmm. is your money. Mm-hmm. Not mm-hmm. income you have to claim. Right. Um, it's income that you can get a loan from and not have to pay back. That is, a, that is a place where you can actually put extra money that you have that will give you a l- larger rate of return than the bank. Okay. That, say, if something were to happen, you would get into some legal uh, trouble or whatever. Like, say you beat somebody up because they try to push you in a pool? And, ooh, and they try to sue you. That is money that is still yours. Nobody can touch it. Like, it can't be touched. The reason why it can't be touched is because the government said so. Because, if those of you didn't know, a lot of these policies were offered to Congress first. <laughs> and Look, you said health insurance? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Like, oh, this life struggle you know, to them first, then, you know, then it was off right. to the public. And even just the basics... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. Too bad. No, I'm just gonna say everything you just said is absolutely valid, and I actually, um, not to tell too much of my business, but I actually did have a policy when I worked um, in for, in DC for DC government, mm-hmm. and I had a, that type of a policy 
Um, and I was able to borrow against it when I needed it. And I didn't need it for a lawyer. Not for anything criminal. It was a civil situation. But I did use it for right. the retainer for my lawyer. Right. And if you have, if you mm-hmm. open a business, a small business, that, like, that's part of your uh, um, like income, like collateral. And I was doing the loan, suing, not being loan. sued, just to clear that up. <laughs> okay. If like you're getting a business loan, they would ask you, like, what are your assets? Life insurance policy is an asset. Okay. Um, and also... One well, of the third things for a life insurance, a basic thing, is uh, you know how much long-term care costs? Mm-hmm. Um, yes and no. Let's say a lot. I was going to say yes and no. I know I and looked into it. I had to look into it when I got sick. And, and you can and actually that. tie long-term care as a rider onto your life insurance policy. Okay. So you actually be using. So if, like I said, these are why you're alive. So if something happens to you, uh, slip and fall down, somebody pushes you off a bridge, um, something like that, and you, you, know, you need long-term care. You get older and, you know, um, you need that. It could be, in your, instead of coming out of pocket, you can use your policy to, to cover that. All right. So, I just I know we I know we were going to try to catch up last month and do one, but we weren't right. able to get it. So, that was the month of um, September. September. So, we're technically still in September. Um, but, you guys, um, anybody that's, that's paying attention, that's listening, that's following us, if you don't have life insurance, please, please look into it. If nothing else... So that your family doesn't have right. to do a GoFundMe when you die. I mean, it's, it's a lot of other things, too. But at yes. the bare minimum. Actually. At the bare minimum. Please, let's not. Actually, before I forget, there is a policy that actually, actually covers your final expenses. Your final expenses? Mm, well, that's what is it? Final, it's final, no. Oh, it's a different writer? It's, no, it's a different type of insurance. Like, oh. your life insurance doesn't come in enough time to put you in the ground. It comes like a month later. Right. But most... But there Most is mortgage, a, mortgages, Lord. But there is a life insurance policy that you can get that which, um, well, I offer it. <laughs> that when you pass, they will pay your family within forty eight hours. It's just to put. It's just the cover okay. your penalty expense. Okay. All yeah, right. Because okay. when you do the life, also you do life insurance policy, as you're thinking, a lot of funeral homes will take it. Right. They know when they're going to get paid, but they charge a higher percentage. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I did not know yeah, that. Okay, fee, I didn't know, know that. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm blessed that I haven't had to deal with it and, a lot. And but... the one that offer actually comes with a concierge service, so they Ooh, whatever concierge. your whatever concierge. your amount is, they'll. Deal like whatever you want, and you tell them what you want, and they just do okay. the legwork. All right, well, that so I just wanted to make sure I gave you the platform, and like I said, um, and Appreciate what I will that. what I will do will when we post the video in the link, mm-hmm. we will put your information. So if you're in the DMV area, can people even outside of the area contact you? Yeah. All right, so we'll post his information in the link. So if you are interested in just even getting just more information, I know you host weekly um, workshops to just in, just in, yeah. um, educate people. Yeah. So if you live in the DMV area, you can um, always show come to one of the workshops, but definitely reach out to um, Face and. We laugh and joke and bullshit, but our real jobs, you know, we do do real work. And so that's his real job. And that's something that um, everybody should have. So we'll post the information. Serious note. Now let's get to the bullshit. Well, and you're never too young to start thinking about Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because um, that's how my kids are going to college. Yeah, I mean, absolutely not. <laughs> and, 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 and and that's valid. I mean, that's valid. Exactly. That is absolutely I'm valid. I'm using college fund. It, I'm using, I got policies on both of them. Hey, I, you should, though. I think even Gerber... Offers, yep. a, a, the grow up. yeah, the grow up. All right, so um, like I said, I just, I'm just honestly, there's a part of me that really gets irked every time I see a GoFundMe go up when somebody passes away. I feel for the family and I feel bad, but it just irks me that people don't plan for something that we all know is coming. In this case, you're wondering. I hate to say it that way, but. Going. Huh? In case everybody was wondering because she was looking sideways. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> the sorry. Game, the game is. Oh, because it is Sunday. <laughs> speaking of speaking of which, um, can you hand me that, please? Can you hand me that? No, please. I'm, okay, I'm just gonna step over you. I'm gonna just hand me that. Okay, can can you hand me that, please? Right there. That. What in the world? Oh, you know what? You're just gonna show your ass. Go ahead. So, All right. <clears throat> last this, Sunday, this how it's going down? So last Sunday, I had the pleasure. I don't know if you guys follow me on the Instagram. That's also posted in the link. Um, Mink and I went to the the football game last week. And she is a Green Bay Packers fan. <laughs> and I am a Washington team fan. And <laughs> Washington team. Washington team. I don't want to offend okay. anybody by saying mm-hmm. the name. But um like, like they started doing on TV, the Washington team. The Washington team. So <laughs> I got this lovely it, I have to watch it because it's still got from the game. But I watched this. Um my team came out a little victorious. 
a little victorious. Oh, yes, a little victorious. On a battlefield, they were victorious. And we triumphant. were victorious. And at the beginning of the game, Mink and I made a bet that the loser <laughs> would have to buy the winner some paraphernalia. You know, some stuff with your team name on it. And at the beginning, we didn't really set a limit. You know, I think, you know, we didn't because... We were laughing and we joking. Laughing and joking. Yeah. So when the, the game was over and I was... <clears throat> Victorious. Somewhere near the end of the fourth quarter, dollar sign started. Uh, I started thinking, what am I going to get? Hmm, what do I want? Hmm, what do I want? And we went to precious, mm, precious, precious. And so we actually went by the gift shop on the way out, or one of the shops on the way out, because you know we were at my stadium, hmm. so there was stuff everywhere. Of course. And I got this really cute. It's different because I got shot glasses, I got coasters, I have shirts, I have jackets. Yeah, so, so picture socks. in the store. I'm, I'm in mean, my hat, my jersey, oh, my yes. everything. Oh, they was giving it to her. Yeah, oh, they were but, giving it to her. Melted cheese. Yes. That's what they kept. I kept saying I wanted a grilled cheese sandwich. That was yeah. my. That's, what, that's funny. Oh, that was that's good. a funny I like one. It. I grilled like cheese it. sandwich. I like it. But I ain't scared of you, man. No, you were too long, so I ain't scared okay. of you, man. Come so this now. is what I got. Okay. I haven't yeah. used it yet. I'm gonna take it to work. It this was... is a red skin. You see, it's the number one, the red skin's number one. And what it actually is, it is a power pack. It's a charger, one of those power pack chargers. I thought that was really cute. It's that, different. I it, didn't it's have different. one. I thought that was you, cute. You have a power pack charger? No, I don't. So imagine oh, well, how you, you do now. I do now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh. So nice. I just wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. For being I'm a, a person of my word. For being a woman of your word. Yes. You know, when we were in there, I said, "What's my, what's my, um, what's my limit?" Because you know, we friends. I ain't trying to be tripping. You know. Right, you know. And she said, "Girl, what you want?" I said, "I like this." And so we did. And it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. It was hard because she is truly a diehard fan. So she had the store already. So, I was like, okay, you know. I mean, I've been a fan since But the birth, thing is, you know, it's hard to not have. But, you know, but did I not, did I, this was her first NFL game, right? This is your first, yeah, first time, time at, going. This yeah. was her first time at an NFL game, first time going to a game. Did I not buy you a commemorative and that's what I was pen? Gonna, I was going to say, I was mm-hmm. going to say, and, you know, Classic is a true friend because she came right back and got me a pen with our team head and her team head and the date of the game and everything underneath. To commemorate the yeah. occasion, right? To, right? To, to, just so, so you can know what day, what day you lost. <laughs> I know. I know. It's okay. I it's mean, okay. It's okay. But it was fun. Right I like it. No, but it was a fun was time. We had a good time, though. We really did. We had a fun time. We had nice people we on the club level. So we yes. was a little V. I was feeling a little VIP ish, you know. VIP. A little bit. And it was raining, so we could sit on inside right. and enjoy in the leather seats and, and eat our partake of our food. And it was nice. We had a good time, though. It was fun. I would do it again. I told her, the person that she got the tickets from, you know, whenever they don't want their seats, let me know. That was fun. It was a good time. You had to go next time. We had a good time. All right, fair enough. I don't, it didn't seem like there was enough seats, but... Uh... Well, no, well, you're <laughs> all right. All right. Anyway. I'll let, next time, you know, that person doesn't use them, I'll let y'all know. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, all right. So, let's get to let's get to the real, real. What a lot of... on if we go? Because, you know, we, we both fans. Well, you know, we do the fan duel thing. So, maybe we'll bet on, like, who fan duel wins or something. I don't all right, know. cool. We'll do that. Because I won the pool. I won my fan duel pool last week, too. So, oh, it was did. just a great year. I did. It, came, it was funny because it came down to the fourth quarter of the Monday night game. Me oh. and Don Juan Pablo. Oh. Well, we kept going back and forth. Like, first yeah. quarter, I was in the lead. Then he was in the lead. Then it literally was going oh, back Steve. and forth. So close. Oh, so close. And he was talking. Oh, oh, he was talking trash. I was like, I didn't even say nothing. I waited. I waited uh, to the very end because it ain't over to the fat lady sings and bitch I didn't sing yet. Wow! But I sang in the fourth quarter. When you was counting your change, you warming up. When I was counting my money. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> what, what was you singing? I was singing. I'm living my best life. Hey, ain't going back and forth with you, nigga. Living my best. That's right. All right. All right, let's get to it, y'all. Let's get okay. to it. So, first of all, unfor- fortunately or unfortunately, however you choose to look at it, um, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Bill Cosby went to jail, damn it. And the reason why I was saying unfortunately, not because I don't think he deserves to go to jail because I'm certainly not one of these people that are out here making excuses and apologies for Bill Cosby. I believe he's guilty. I believe that he did the crime. And I believe that he deserves to go to jail. Um, all right. Distractions. I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> um, I and I said it on the podcast. I believe I didn't think that he would actually go to jail. Bye. I really. Bye. So that's why I say fortunately because I was shocked 
I'm I thought he would get like a suspended sentence or probation. I honestly <laughs> did not think they would they would put that man in jail. I'm, my thought was this. I like Bill Cosby. I'm not one to sit back and say. I'm going back and forth about the whole thing. I he, like Heathcliff Huxley. Well, he I don't was know tried, about Bill Cosby. He was tried. He was convicted. Um, you were drugging women. <laughs> Regardless you, of what and your you intent, admitted that you was yeah. You regardless of what you your intent, it. regardless of the culture at the time, you were drugging women. And I will say this: with them constantly going back and forth about overcrowding and things like that in, in the prison system, mm-hmm. I'm surprised that someone spent the time to put an 81, 82 year old man in jail. Blind man. Yeah, I would have mm-hmm. personally. I would have put him on house arrest. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you can't leave the state. I, I mean, he got about five mansions to choose from, but whatever. Oh, I'd have picked, I'd have picked the one that he was staying at. Right. Um, I would have house arrest. He can't leave the state. Frozen since the council to a certain extent. I mean, I, I think there were other things you could have done. Um, I would have confiscated his passport. Mm-hmm. Um, to that point. Because my right. thing is, if we're gonna put, you don't have to. I think as damn, yeah, it's on your whatever. All right, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, Once you get convicted of something like that, it's on you. Like when you try. Well, yeah, he has, he's yeah. a registered sex offender for the rest so of his life, whatever that might mean. Well, that's going to come up. He can't go to Canada without problems. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, wouldn't, I, don't, I don't want him. He can't go to Jersey without permission. That, that's how wow. the lock, okay. I would put him on. Keep him, right. keep him in Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Your reaction? I didn't have one, uh, to be honest. Because okay. he admitted. He admitted he did it. He admitted he did it. And I'm like, well, who is his legal team? Like, did he... Well, no, it was a deposition, and what happened was get, he was told that he would get immunity because um, the deposition was for something else. But uh, you know, you, the, you, uh, the thing to remember like, is, is Joe Brown? whatever you <laughs> whatever you say can be held against you. Like, call up. like the like, Miranda he, warning is there for a reason. He admitted to it. He did. So, All right. So, I mean, in that type of case, I mean, let's be honest. Like, if you say that you sexually assaulted someone. Even if, in general, not even in court or whatever, somebody recorded you saying it, um, all any lawyer or DA or whatever needs at that point is a victim. <laughs> right. And you're probably going to end up going to jail. Mm-hmm. Or at least with some type of punishment. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it doesn't... Mm-hmm. They keep it, so, after he admitted it, it's kind of like... What uh, can you do? But, no. okay, so let me ask you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're all in agreement. Why do you think there are so many apologists out there, so many... Bill Cosby apologists, so many people that are making excuses, so many people, like, wh- do you think they can't separate Bill Cosby I'm, from Cl- H- yeah. Cliff, Heathcliff Huxley? People like, can, what do you think? People no. cannot separate him. They cannot, long... sell, they cannot separate William H. Cosby from Heathcliff Huxley. They can't do it. And they see him as their I mean, TV for dad. for a long time. I mean, before, you know, he was Dr. Cosby and the Cosby Show. Mm-hmm. Like, before the Cosby Show, Bill Cosby was a player. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I mean, if you read, if you even, read between the lines, whatever, sometimes. Bill Cosby was an asshole. After that, like a lot of comedians have made comments about Bill Cosby because Bill Cosby wouldn't at a at a point in time. Now Bill Cosby would give a lot of money. I mean, let me not. Mm-hmm. Bill Cosby right. gave a lot of money even back in the seventies and sixties to the civil rights movement and stuff. Right. But Bill mm-hmm. Cosby was like, I ain't marching, but I will write a check. And and again, I'm not judging you for that right. because there's a whole lot of people that didn't do either one. Right. So I'm not judging you for saying, look. That ain't my thing. I'm not marching, but what you need. Because he did. He donated a lot. Long before he was giving money to HBCUs, he donated a lot of money to mm. um, the cause. I will say that. But as far as his personal views about things, he has been an asshole about, you know, yeah. comments he's made about the black community and what we should and shouldn't be doing. And you know what I mean? Like, I remember I mean, him criticizing. Wrong, some of it wasn't wrong, but it's <laughs> it's a, some of the things he said wasn't wrong. But I think the problem is... His opinions came from an elitist point of view. Right. Like, but he criticized was, Living Single. Right, living he criticized single. Living Single, and I'm like... He criticized a TV show. But he, he but, criticized... It, <laughs> no, he but from, he was saying he that it gave us a yeah. bad representation of black women and blah, uh-huh. blah, blah. And I'm like, black at a women, time when... Professional black, professional well, he, black his, women, but he was like, because they were promiscuous and talked about and, sex. Yeah, he came from a point of TV uh, shows should be about black people and family. I'm like, okay, but if you're 20-something, you're not married, you don't have a house full of that's kids. That's what you are. These I are four women. The emotional reaction behind what he was saying. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just a man's opinion. Whatever. It is his opinion, but it's just like, but again, it's his opinion, but... The same way he came out and said that living single 
was somewhat unrealistic was the same way a lot of white people look at the Cosby show saying it was unrealistic. Mm -hmm. It was a show that opened up a certain perspective of lives in the black community. Right. It's not going to, everyone doesn't have the same life or the same view, just showing one part of, of it. Of a different For him to come back life. and criticize it after coming off criticism of his own show did show him being elitist. Right. And it didn't yeah. meet his standard. And again, right. I remember him making comments about teachers and as a teacher... Mm -hmm. It pissed me off because I was like, come do what I do for a year, nigga. As and then you, should. let's have a conversation. I'm saying, and, as it should have. And my thing is, yes, right. you're right. It's his opinion. He's just one person. But again, he had the ear of white America. Uh -huh. So him saying something is a lot more detrimental than me saying it in my living room. Well, hell, even on this podcast. Because right. um, he's got millions and millions of people. And all, you know, y'all know all white America needs is for the one black person to agree with them. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be the, the Mecca. Well, Bill Cosby said it. Right. So I just feel like when, at a time when black TV was exploding right. and he, he, he knocked down, he led the charge with the Cosby show. But when you had, you know, a different world, living single Martin, you know, blah, blah, blah. Right. Each show. We need it. We don't need people to find excuses to not continue to do right. it. And I just felt like for him to criticize something, like you said, that I know that's how me and I mean, I, that's how me and my friends were in the 20s. I had friends who were professionals. I had friends who were, in the 20s you know, or in your 20s. In my 20s. That's what I said, didn't I? You said in the, tw in the 20s. In the 20s. Like, like the 1920s. My bad. 1920s. I ain't that old. Right, in my wow. 20s. I mean, I had Black friends who were professionals. <laughs> I had friends who were nine to fivers. I had friends who were blue collar. I had friends who were entrepreneurs. And that is what we did. We did First Fridays at the different bars around town. We went to the clubs. We did the, the you know, congressional black cock. We did all of that stuff that... I guess, quote unquote, black movers and shakers, young black people did during the 20s or whatever, did, uh, during our 20s, you know, in this area. <laughs> and my thing is, how dare you criticize us because it, well, it didn't fit your mold? You know what I'm saying? Right. But, anyway, but us, yeah. us regular folks, we do that to black shows or anything a black person doing all the time. What do you, you mean, what, like, like criticize? Yeah. It's like, well, that's not, you know, because they take it from, uh, let's say, what was that old show that everybody was just like, it was like the worst. Um, Homeboys from Outer Space? Yes. But they had to write from the sun, but it was like. The the story, the, the name of the show was Homeboys right. from Outer Space. I know. It was terrible. It was a terrible title for a show. Homeboys from Outer Space. Mm-hmm. The title alone. I never saw an episode. The title alone. It was actually fun. I don't remember that. Who was in it? The dude, um, Ron, from um, uh, Different yeah. World. And it was right after Different World went off. Like It was like literally like the season after Different uh -huh. World went off. He was in it. I don't remember who else. I just remember he was in it. Homeboys from Outer Space on UPN back in the day. I mean, oh That's how old it was. It was on UPN. I mean, just check Black Twitter. There's always an opposite side of everything. Yeah, it is. And it's not like I'm giving uh, this, how I, this how I like this how I like about it. It's like an emotional... Like, uh, like you're attacking me personally. They do, oh, they, but oh, I think that's what they did with the whole Bill Cosby thing. Like y'all acting right. like this, y'all acting like what? Bill Cosby was y'all daddy, and right. I just it was just pissing me off that, that people. That and you know what else pisses me off is when people compare him to other stuff. Well, we're gonna put Bill Cosby in jail. What about what about uh, Weinstein? He he hasn't been charged yet. He actually no, I'm sorry, he hasn't gone to trial yet. He has been charged, but people act like. It's the same. Like it's supposed to happen at the same time, right? Like I, I even saw somebody be like, "I mean, we putting if we putting eighty year old people in jail. Well, let's go after the lady that killed oh, Emmett oh, Till." The dead, the dead lady. Did yeah, she pass away? I don't mm -hmm. think no. She's still alive, but I'm like, I thought she died. Right. She, if she died, it was recently because she was alive up until like a year ago. So if she died, it was recently. And well, it was, my, but it was again, Fle Flex Alexander. But again, oh Flex Alexander. Okay, but again, we're talking about two different things. Like you can't compare one to the other. Like it's not, and it just pisses me off that people make these. It just, I just, it just pisses me what off because I'm like uh, sexual assault is sexual wait, assault. Was Bill O'Reilly? What happened to him? Nothing. Well, Bill O'Reilly. Well, no, he's on the podcast now, but he did get fired. He lost yeah. his job. He's on the podcast now. I, you can't shot. control the fact that this man. Yeah, okay. I, now I'm not. I'm not. Excuse me. I'm not going to begrudge somebody that is still able to make a living. But what people need to understand about sexual assault is that it is something that is very hard to prove, and a lot of prosecutors will not will not move forward to try to um, try a case because it is a very hard case to prove. It's my word against yours. And if there's right. no Bill evidence, Bill Cosby gave his testimony. Right, Bill Cosby said he did it. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if I say, if I accuse someone of 
doing something inappropriate to me and we were in a closed area or no, there were no witnesses around, it's my word against yours. So it's not so much that these women are lying because people make these, well, why didn't they come forward sooner? Well, why didn't this? Why didn't that? For the exact, people don't come forward for the exact same reason as what you're saying now because you're making all these excuses about what, um, we're going to get to Kavanaugh. Let's just go on and move into Kavanaugh now. Um, I saw people okay. on the internet this weekend talking about. Uh, before we get to that, okay, it, it was it was. Uh, I mean, on on the, mm -hmm. what you was what you were saying, mm -hmm. and um, I was in the conversation going back and forth, and I was like, well, one, like I said, he admitted it, so it's basically right. You, you've given the prosecution everything they need, your confession, right? And I'm like, and he's like, and everybody was like, well, yeah, one of the Bill Cosby uh, conspiracy theorists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they were going back and forth. They were going back and forth, and I'm like, well, um, two things. One, I'm pretty sure Bill had a reputation. I mean, I don't know, because I know, like, in high school, I he heard this, like, real quick. So I heard these talk, stories about Bill Cosby years ago. Because they was trying to figure out how many, like, they was going on how many victims. So it was like, right. well, I'm pretty sure there were victims. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure they all were, but I'm pretty sure they were victims. But we and I, I can agree with you on that. But who I can we going to, you, you know... Separate the two, and you know who was who. I'm like, well, and secondly, are you more mad that it's Bill Cosby or the fact that he's the only one that got snitched on? Because right, like, <laughs> like I mean, that's what I'm saying. On. Like, I don't know. I just don't understand the attachment. Like, I get it that a lot of people grew up with the Cosby Show, but again, separate Bill didn't, Cosby he didn't, he didn't from the Cosby Show. <laughs> wow. I mean, anyway, yeah. So his real name is not He Cliff. No, it's not. <laughs> He's, it's not. He didn't go to Bill Hillman. Bill not a stage name. He didn't go to Hillman. Doesn't exist. You know what? He's not real blades. Um, Brett Kavanaugh, the Supreme Court. All right. So first of all, before I go into the minutia of the bullshit of what it is, question: Do you all, the two of you, think that Brett, Ka based on what you know, do you think that Brett Kavanaugh should be on the Supreme Court? No. Oh no. wow. Okay, that was no. quick. All right. Now, is it because just merely the innuendo of impropriety, or do you believe the the woman that's accusing him? I believe that I believe he did something. I'm not going to sit here and say exactly what okay. whether she's exactly right or he's exactly right. I do believe there's a dark gray area with something that happened between the two of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and like I said, perception is always, you know. Perception is reality. Yes. Yeah. My perception so, is my reality, yeah. But his his callousness towards it, the way he acts towards, you know, just the... St I can't imagine him sitting on a Supreme Court deciding other cases, especially pertaining to females, with the same arrogant, mannish asshole about himself. Mm, mm. I would I would not want him deciding on overturning Roe v. Wade or something oh, like that. Oh, my gosh, yes. With That's his view. Which probably was probably the worst idea ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he can't be a Supreme Court justice. He just cannot. Okay. Why? Well, I didn't. I caught up on all the accusations and the stories and all that later. Just watching, watching his uh his testimony. His, his testimony. Tem yeah. Watching his testimony. I'm like, son, you cannot. Yo, dude got real nothing. He got real angry and nasty, didn't for he? Me. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Slim, how are you, are you breaking down right now? So what happens if he's sitting there hearing a case on Supreme Court and he's tired like, and he's hungry? He's going to go the fuck off in court? But my like, thing is you no are way. a judge, so there you know no better. Way. Like, you, like the way he came at some, of those, um, some of those um, senators, if someone had come in your courtroom and talked to you like that, you would have held them in contempt. But, but see, like, but you know better. But that's the, and what I heard a lady say on the radio, she said she has presented a case in his courtroom. And, and she like said that. exact. No, she said the exact same thing. Had she acted the way he did, he would have held her in Absolutely. contempt. Absolutely. But my thing. But that's the problem. I'm sorry. His his privilege is shown. I'm not gonna say his white privilege, but his privilege is it's shown. It's white privilege. You've been a, well, no. You've been no, a judge. Like, You're used to being on this side of the bench, and you make the privilege. decision. It's just, it's, just, it's just got white sprinkle on. It. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It has white frosting on top, and it's just. You're used to being the one making a decision on other people's lives. Having someone make decision on your career, he don't like how the fuck it feels. Am I okay? So let me say you don't this. Do let it. me give you a little two cents on my on my little situation. All right. So I grew up. Um, I went to private school my whole life, and the high school that I went to was in the same realm, not on the, the but in the same realm of the school that he went to. The school that Doctor. Um, his accuser, oh Lord, her name escapes me now. But his Doctor Ford, thank you, Doctor Ford. His accuser, accuser went to. Um, my cousin actually went to the same high school that his accuser went to, so I know that circle. 
Okay, I don't know it in the eighties, but I know it in the nineties. I know that circle, and, and it is not as clean cut as y'all want. It is here. no, it's exactly what Whew. it is. It is it is white privilege. It is frat boy mentality. Boy, it is, and they talking dangerous. about they talking about getting together on the weekends and partying. Let me tell you what I know. Let me tell you my experience in that community. Okay, every weekend somebody was having a house party with more than enough liquor, more than enough beer. There was definitely sex. It was unsupervised because they had these beautiful big homes up in the suburbs. And mommy and daddy were off in the Vale or off in the Caribbean or on a business trip. Or fuck it, they might have just been out at the opera and didn't give a fuck, okay? Right. They had summer homes. They had winter homes. Like, I partied in those environments. And I am telling you what I know. To act like that was so far out of reality, like... I don't know what she's talking about. Parties. Talking? All that. That everything. That shit happened and it happened every weekend. I was, I, when I turned 21, I was so unbothered by the fact that I could legally get alcohol because I, I drank off the high school. And, I, and 90% of the time it was at their parties. Okay? So let me just be clear. I'm not saying that it happened or it didn't happen. I believe her. Let me say this. I believe the accuser. The only reason I have black friends was to get weed. Oh, and you know what? That's true. No, that's true. That's yeah. true. I can't tell you uh, how many times I was asked. What? Can I cannot tell weed? you how many times I was asked. Yo, brother, brother. And it wasn't just. And it wasn't just weed. Yo, brother. Can you? Can you um? Because yeah, because yeah, can you, score, you, can you score some pot? Yeah, Face went to private school too, can, so can, he understand what I'm talking about. And it was like, absolutely. It's like you coming to the party, oh, dude. Can you get some um from your friends? Some what? Some who? I'm glad some I'm hoping the safety of public schools. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, that's the reality. Like, I'm just telling you what I know. Now, I believe the accuser. I, I'm, I'm with you. I cannot say what did or did not happen in that room. But do I feel like he caused her some trauma? I absolutely believe it. Her testimony, her, her, um, her mannerisms, her she aspect. Than, than right. And then, and then him Let being, be him being so <laughs> angry, it just, it came off as that, how dare you, how dare you. I can't believe you. she came right. back and said something about me. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, my thing is. That's she, how regular folks supposed to act. Right, and my thing is, she didn't even bother him until it was a Supreme Court situation. This man's been a federal judge. She didn't come after him, but her conscience would not let her, just like, look, I just need to let y'all know what I know about this dude. Like and He's sitting there like, how dare you not appreciate me I mean, writing my penis into you so many years ago? Right. That's how the fuck privilege he's coming off at. Like, you supposed he to really, honor about I mean, his testimony came off can as privilege to me. Can y'all help me out? Cause, um, wasn't she cool with a whole investigation on uh, what she was saying? Or what she was bringing to you? Like, like like let's do an investigation. Yeah, she's but, asking, right. Yeah. She she just wanted the investigation like, like you think, because you think you... she really wanted to remain anonymous. She didn't want her story told. Right. She was just letting them know. Look, there's some smoke there. Y'all might want to investigate to see if it's fire. That's the same thing that happened with Anita Hill. Anita Hill came forward anonymously and was sort of forced into. So these women did not come forward to start no shit. They came forward anonymously and they they were like, look, we just he gonna be let's on the Supreme Court. Let's, let's look into it. You might just want to check it out. All let's right. Try. I will say this, even though I was very disappointed um, with a lot of the, I'm, with Lindsey Graham and a lot of, I'm, I'm really disappointed in Lindsey Graham because I really thought Lindsey Graham was coming around at one point. I did. He was like anti-Trump and, but it's like the last That was to save some votes. I don't know, but the last year he is really, I don't know. His true but, colors. Yeah. True colors shining through. Wow. And did we go to school in the 80s? I did. I was in the school days. Woo. I love that song. You didn't like that song? I love that song. It's a classic. Dun, 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 dun. I still remember the video. Dun, 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 dun. And all the commercials that came after that? Lindsey Graham is a... Yeah, well, that's later. But, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I was really disappointed in a lot of what these congressmen He's did. An asshole However, and she's I will say I'm glad that we're looking at an investigation. And even if nothing comes of the investigation... Having the investigation, I think, is what should have happened. I still say we it trim shouldn't Congress. have had to come to this. But they said they are going to... Um, we need to trim Congress. Some of them been there too long. So do you believe in term limits? You think there should yes. be term limits? Yeah, now, yeah. How do we live in our president and not let it out? Because I used to work for a company and that he, did term limits. And I'm sorry, um, here's the only reason I believe that. Now. Because, we fighting for it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's because times are changing too damn fast. Now. And it's like... A certain amount of time is great, but it's so ever changing. It's like, come on, Slim. If Thirty you, years ago, and you still around? Like, if you're, no. if you, when you first came in Congress, There's no, no. If your first bill was on a dictaphone, get the <laughs> fuck out. 
If you still have a flip phone, get the fuck out. If you have if microfiche in your I was going to say. If you have microfiche in your attic. Your resume on microfiche, get the fuck out. If we still have to fax you documents, get the fuck out. Right. <laughs> if you waiting for your girl Friday to come take shorthand for a memo. Your girl Friday yeah. to come take shorthand. I swear. I get love the, that movie though. Get the fuck out. <laughs> it's time to go. It's time to go. And I'm not, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that our elders do not have a wealth of information to provide. That's not what I'm saying. That's I'm sure that's not what we're saying. Because like, I'm glad that young folks are not. In- <laughs> yes, like, because you got some young folks that don't, know, don't know shit from Shinola. That's true. But the thing is, I, I need somebody that's experienced life. But I mean, but I do think that there's some, like, yeah, there's something too to be said many about different generations, and yeah. it's like it's too many of the same. If you generation. call it the Twitter, the internet, ha! or TV, the Twitter, ha! On C span. So I was reading the Twitter. Yeah. And it said I was on that Instagram. You You was on that Instagram? (laughs) That was on C span, people. So my aide my aide helped me set up my uh Instagram account and uh it was lit. And it and they do the I'm now on the Google. Right. I have the Google. And they they do the Twitter for me. (laughs) They tweet. But no, yeah, no so I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with term limits. I mean, there's pros and cons to both of it, to both things. I mean, with term I mean, limits, you deal with lame duck situations. But I, 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 I can see, city. definitely see, yeah, I can definitely see the pros and cons of both of it. Both of them, I, excuse me. And that's why both should, you know, I don't know. I guess I'm just getting into what I think, but I, I'm going to leave my thoughts on it. This is my opinion. Well, that's what we're here for. I know, but it's like, it's, I don't know, cover I mean, at least, what we're here? cover at least. To give uh, our opinion? Oh. Greater, I, it's more than two, I guess. A like greater, like stretch of time. I just, we just don't need another situation not, of a strong thermon. But just not, oh, um, just not. I'm well, tired. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of hearing out. Congress Congress people are retiring. He was still breathing. That's all I'm saying. I'm tired of hearing the Congress people are retiring. I'm Why? like, you shouldn't have been around that long. Well, <laughs> it's a part time job. People. And, and it's honestly, a job. you have some of, and that's <laughs> and that's another problem. But you have some of them who this was their first job. 30 years ago, and they've never worked or did anything else, mm-hmm. so they don't understand the struggle of, like John Kerry, when he didn't understand um, the cost of gas. Like, he didn't know gas cost X amount of dollars. Because you are so fucking out of reach, you don't understand why people are standing in line trying to decide between gas, bread, and milk. Right. But you're, you're so fucking privileged, you don't get it. But how, how because I thought and, originally and because we in, need money for all of that, it's always gas, so we gotta get to work. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> you know what right, I'm saying? So, you know, get a pack of oodles and noodles, 10 for 5, for five cents. Get you through the week, man. And how was chicken never on sale? It's always you shot. know what's funny. I remember <laughs> back in the day when chicken you could get chicken like a pack of wings was like forty nine cents a pound. When they told you chicken was he- a little bit healthier, and other folks start eating it. Well, that's just like crabs. We're in or in our area. I remember my parents talk about how crabs used to be cheap. Yeah, because nobody like like they were like the you cheap know, food there, they could. There like, was a restaurant and now in Baltimore with the crab thing. I can't mind. I I should have wrote this down. You should have. Because I don't even know what you're getting ready to say, but it sounds no, good. No, there's a restaurant. It sounds like you should have wrote it down, whatever it is. Right, no, you're, you're right, you're right. I'm, I should have did my notes. You should have? What are you talking about? I should have did my notes. There's a restaurant now, because uh, Peter put a sign up. Oh, I saw that, and they were giving away for free or something like that? Peter put a sign up about not eating crabs, give away. And I was like, they in the wrong and place. And this restaurant. Baltimore, don't eat crabs? And like, this restaurant's been in the Twitter battle and winning against Peter ever since. Mm-hmm. It's like, just... Look it up. Read it. It's I gotta hilarious. Look it's, Peter is definitely gangster. winning. No, nah, Peter's going down on this one. I mean, I'm sorry, not winning. I'm saying the restaurant is winning. My bad. Restaurant is winning. They're going down. No, I'm sorry. Where is the restaurant like, is? I should. I, I should be. I'm giving like, why? Are we right now. I didn't know crabs were on the Peter's list. Like, when did that happen? They don't, just, any, anything, anything with a like, face, anything with the face of life or whatever, Peter does not. All I'm gonna say either. is, I'm gonna go to the Peter office, and I bet I see not a motherfucker with a pair of leather shoes on. That's all I'm saying. Leather shoes, leather chair. No, it's a T-shirt I want. It says. It says, vegan, vegans, if you love animals so much, why do you keep eating their food? <laughs> <laughs> well. And I'm like, absolutely. But yeah, I'm, I'm mad I haven't had any crabs. Like, I normally try to do at least a half bushel every... You ain't did crabs? Before. I know. I know. I haven't Girl. did it. But Girl. I'm just like, no, you, Peter, you're not going to win that fight in Maryland. Crabs, like two days Right, you're in the wrong side of you definitely in the wrong side like that. You, like this is definitely it's not the area East to Coast. take on that. You this, don't want to take on this that. East battle. Coast period, but we especially have, in this region. In this area, Maryland, Maryland crab. Maryland. 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 Maryland.
please. You're going to die. You would, yes, yes. That shit, they would eat the Peter person. Yeah. Don't play. <laughs> Okay, let's bring us some old bay on you. <laughs> You're right. Don't play that game. I'll throw you in the pit. No. I just didn't know. When I saw that sign, I was Seeing like, you up. I was like, what did we do to get on Peter's bad side? Like, what the fuck? Peter, we have fucking crab flavored chips. Peppers. Like, crab chips. Really? We do have crab chips. Like, I don't like them, though. I don't do like them either, them. but we fucking got them. So, let me tell and you what. It okay. Is, it, is, it is salt on salt. <laughs> On the salt. On salt. Right. It's, on it's, five, it's five different salts. And then we dip it in butter. Right. With a little salt. Then we dip it in butter. Right. And it's salted Matter butter. Matter of fact. Right. Matter of right. fact, we might crush them up and throw them on the crab bit. Right. Like, like, stop playing. Like, stop it. And Merlin, we buy beer to cook our crabs with. Yes, like, we do. We have that is how beer. I cook my crabs. So, yes, it's, beer. Peter, you're not going to win. You're going to win this one. Wife. You got a better chance ripping Ooh. it. A damn horse out of a damn dinosaur mouth or something. Go find that fight. So look, look it up and go to the restaurant and um, have a good time. I'm trying to tell you. Uh oh, <laughs> we about to have a little intrusion. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's what happens when you do a live show. Right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Next okay. up. Hey, fool. And. Hey, my fool. Hey, man. Oh. Right. You down there fussing? I heard you downstairs fussing. You giving daddy a hard time? We, we just gonna act like this now. Hey, he's waving. He's waving. Hey, 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 he's <laughs> <laughs> he can at least wave to the camera. Like, I know, I know, I know. Like, <laughs> like, what's up, y'all? Brother what's Law, up? say hey. What's up, man? No, he, what's up, Pooh? Oh, he, oh. oh, he's coming. He's coming. Hey! You see, Auntie Glenn. This, this is what we call a commercial. No, uh oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> that's what he does. All right. He just, uh, yes, that's right. what he does. All right, he just fell out he on, just the lays floor. on the floor. Come on. You want to come over here? You tired? Long crawl. Probably supposed to be taking a nap. Come on. Yep. Yeah, this is a commercial break. Sorry. It is, this is a commercial break. Come on. Dad got the guy. He's a little son of. Come on, fool. Yes. Come oh, on, you fast. Oh, he. Oh, yeah. He fast with it. Come on. See what your auntie be talking about. Come on, fool. What you doing, man? Uh, we okay. ain't even gonna edit this out. We gonna, all right. He decided he wanted to go yeah, the other way. Dad got food. I'm not chasing. Yeah, right. Daddy got the bottle. Now he heard bottle. He like, hold up. Look, Daddy. Look, Daddy holding the bottle. <laughs> All right, y'all. Sorry about that. That was a little intermission. Well, see, real life, real, real life, life shit. You know. See, black man doesn't take care of his kids. Uh, <laughs> how, about, how about that? That Bro. was the moral of that story, right? <laughs> how about that? Just say it. Just you say. You seen first? He tried to eat walk. <laughs> first hand. Let's see. You see? Right, I'm with you, brother. <laughs> right. Um, and you know what's so funny about that? It's sad that we had to keep saying and keep showing pictures that we prove. We know what happens. Shit. Right, that's I mean, I that's been my experience. Right. right. That's, well, I mean, it wasn't mine, but I know it happens. Like, I have, I have, she had friends. I have friends. <laughs> I have friends that had dads. That's right. I'm sorry. Right. Um. What? This thing be making me mad. Thank you, man. Okay, so while we had a little commercial break, I want to talk about TV shows. Because we got a little small pause. 